Hello, so this is coping after a traumatic event. A sudden illness, an accident, or an assault, or a natural disaster. These are all traumatic experiences, which can upset and distress us. They arouse powerful and disturbing feelings in us, which usually settle in time without any professional help. So, what is a traumatic event? Examples of a traumatic event might include serious accidents, being told that you have a life-threatening illness, bereavement, violent personal assault such as physical attack, sexual assault, a sexual assault, robbery and ragging, military combat, natural human-made disasters, terrorist attacks, being taken hostage, or being a prisoner of war. What will I feel after a traumatic event? Well, First, let's go over the definition. A traumatic event occurs when a person is in a situation where there is a risk of harm or danger to themselves or other people. Situations like this are usually frightening or cause a lot of stress. In such situations, people feel helpless. So what will I feel after a traumatic event? Immediately after a traumatic event, it is common for people to feel shocked or numb or unable to accept what has happened. Shock. When you feel shock, you're stunned or dazed or numb, cut off from your feelings or from what is going on around you. And some are in denial. So when in denial, you can't accept that it happened to you. So you behave as though it hasn't. So what happens next? People react differently and take different amounts of time to come to terms with what has happened. Even so, you may be surprised by the strength of your feelings. It is normal to experience... Um, a mix of feelings. So you may feel frightened, helpless, angry, guilty, sad, um, ashamed or embarrassed, relieved, hopeful. So what else might I notice? Strong feelings affect your physical health. In the weeks after a trauma, you may find that you cannot sleep, feel very tired, dream a lot, and have nightmares, have poor concentration, have memory problems, have difficulty thinking clearly, suffer from headaches, experience changes in appetite, experience changes in sex drive or libido, have aches and give on pains, um, and feel that your heart is beating faster. So what should I do? Give yourself time. It takes time to accept what has happened and to learn from it. Find out what happened. It is better to face the reality of what happened rather than wondering about what might have been. Be in law involved with other survivors. Um, if you go to funerals and memorial service, this may help you to come to terms with what has happened. It may help to spend time with others who have been through the same experience as you. Also, ask for support. It can be a relief to talk about what has happened. You may need to ask your friends and family for the time to do this. At first, they will probably not know what to say or do. So take some time for yourself. All um, At times, you may want to be alone or just be with those close to you. Talk it over with somebody. Get into a routine to help you. So even if you don't feel like much like eating, try to have regular meals and eat a balanced diet. Do some normal things with other people. And just take care. After a trauma, trauma, people are more likely to have accidents. Be careful around the home and when you are driving. So what shouldn't you do? You shouldn't bottle up your feelings. Strong feelings are natural. Don't feel embarrassed about them. Don't take on too much. Being active can take your mind off what has happened, but you need time to think to go over what happened so you can come to terms with it. Don't drink or use drugs. Alcohol or drugs can blot out painful memories for a while, but they will stop you from coming to terms with what has happened. And don't make any major life changes. Try to put off any big decisions. Your judgment may not be the, at its best, and you may, you may make choices you regret later. Take advice from people you trust. So, thank you for listening.